Did Beyonce make up those cheating rumors on Lemonade just to make a few extra millions? Are Black China and Rob Kardashian having a little Kardashian? And get this, a New York man got punched in the face for looking like Shia LaBeouf. Keep watching Hollywood Update for more details on these stories and more. It's all about the money, right? That seems to be Beyonce and Jay-Z's motto, as a new report claims they purposely added fuel to the rumors that Jay had been unfaithful in the couple's marriage on her new album, Lemonade, as a marketing ploy. They developed these storylines to sell albums, an insider told Page Six. Lemonade is a movie crafted to drive sales. They are entertainers at the top of their game. Do you think Jay would release her album on title if it was really all about him? He is 100% behind this. If you haven't been following, many of the lyrics on Lemonade are about a man being unfaithful, which led fans to speculate that he cheated. Rachel Roy and Rita Ora have been called out as alleged mistresses, but both have denied being romantically involved. They're marketing masters. They're pros at this, the source added. The more attention, the more they sell, the better. All that speculation is to get press when they need it. Lemonade is much deeper than infidelity, but that's the focus. As long as people are talking, they don't care. Jay did look totally relaxed and carefree when he was photographed for the first time since Lemonade's release. Selena Gomez has never looked hotter than in her new Instagram photo, where her sexy, topless body is literally glistening. She looks so happy and she has every reason to be. Her new revival tour kicks off next week. Selena captioned the sexy black and white photo behind the scenes of Revival Tour, which shows her laying back with her arms covering her topless body, and she has the biggest grin in the world on her face. She appears to be covered in body glitter of some type because her skin is absolutely shimmering. She is surrounded by glowing candles, which gives the photo an even more sexy vibe. Her big tour kicks off May 6 in Las Vegas, and she'll be hitting over 40 cities before July is over. After getting some backlash from fans, Rebecca Romaine took to Twitter to clarify remarks to Kendall and Gigi. Hey Kendall Jenner, Gigi Hadid, don't believe that clickbait. I never talk smack about either of you. You're both amazing and beautiful. Let me get you caught up. Earlier, Rebecca slams the fashionistas in the business after being asked, what are your thoughts on the new generation of models? such as Kendall and Gigi, who are more famous for their social media presence than their runway experience. No one has proven yet that numbers of followers translates to revenue, she tells Entertainment Tonight, so it's frustrating. And it seems the 43-year-old beauty isn't the only person who feels this way. I know a lot of people, legitimate fashion people, can't stand it, hate it that these, you know, social media stars are now the supermodels in fashion. They are not true supermodels. Are Rob Kardashian and Black China having a baby? They went with Kim to visit Kim's own pregnancy specialist on April 26th. And now the world is buzzing that the newly engaged couple may be expecting. It could have been for a regular checkup, but it seems weird that Rob and Kim Kardashian would go along if it wasn't pregnancy related. A lot of people have been saying that Black may be developing a baby bump. So this visit just adds fuel to the already burning fire. And she was spotted wearing an oversized hoodie leaving the OBGYN. Could it be that she was trying to hide the baby bump? According to a close family source, Kendall and Kylie went over to visit Robin Black after Black visited Kim's OBGYN. The whole family is visiting Black and Rob now, so they must have gotten some good news. Something definitely happened. In honor of National Administrative Professionals Day, Chris Hemsworth gives the fan a surprise of her life. He gives her a kinky massage, gets naked, and takes tequila shots. Since Chris Hemsworth plays an administrative professional in the new Ghostbusters movie, Ellen invited him to surprise people who work very hard every day. Ellen and Chris popped into one woman's cubicle, and her reaction is priceless. Ellen says to the fan, we knew that you like Chris because I snoop around at night. I do a lot of cleaning at night. He's actually going to take care of you today since you're so used to taking care of other people. So have a seat. He's going to massage you. 
Chris gets to work on her neck, asking her if she wants him to use oil. The two pretend to take off their clothes for a naked massage, which is interrupted by the woman's curious co-workers. After the rubdown, Ellen and Chris take a tequila shot with the entire office. I can see why Chris was named Sexiest Man Alive. Megan Fox was spotted on vacation in Hawaii, flaunting her baby bump with her maybe not so estranged husband, Brian Austin Green, in Hawaii last Friday. So this means they're definitely back together, right? The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles actress looked gorgeous as she showed off her pregnancy curves in a black bikini with a colorful sarong. Green looked equally handsome, going sans shirt for their walk on the beach where he showed off his ripped bod. In one photo, the Beverly Hills 90210 alum is seen with his hand on Megan's baby bump as she holds onto his arm. In another, the two are holding hands. This will be Megan and Brian's third child together, though they filed for divorce last August. From the looks of it, the divorce might be on hold now. Talk about relationship goals, Jenna Dewan Tatum pulled off one incredible birthday surprise for her hubby Channing Tatum. She gifted the sexy star with a rescue horse for his 36th birthday. The Magic Mike star even shared a sweet clip of the day's events, best birthday gift ever from my wifey. He captioned the pic below of his new sidekick. The actress posted a series of fun photos from the festivities on her Instagram. To love someone deeply gives you strength. Being loved by someone gives you courage. Happy birthday to my lifer. Channing also shared his excitement about the getaway in a cute video, where he looked like he was having a blast while covered in face paint. He commented, Braveheart paint by Evie. New rescue horse named Cajun on a sunset ride. Thanks for all the birthday wishes. Those two are literally perfect. Okay, so this is pretty funny. A New York man is tending to a black eye after he was allegedly punched on the subway because he looks like Shia LaBeouf. Mario Licata was walking down the subway stairs at the northeast corner of Essex and Delancey streets when a man in his 20s punched him in the face. He stated, this is because you look like Shia LaBeouf, an NYPD spokesman says. Police are investigating the incident as an assault and no arrests have been made. Locato took to Instagram, posting a photo of his bruised left eye. I want to thank the guy who randomly decided he needed to hit me last night. Locato wrote alongside the photo, This happened because you look exactly like Shia LaBeouf. Well, sir, you boosted my self-esteem because he's pretty hot. Three weeks ago, Rob Kardashian proposed to his girlfriend, Black China. None of the Kardashians publicly congratulated Rob on his engagement. And now we'll all get to see why. The new Keeping Up with the Kardashians premieres this weekend. Based on the clip E! released yesterday afternoon, it's going to be the best season in years. The YouTube description of the clip says it all. Kendall Jenner is furious when she finds out Rob Kardashian gave the iPad she gifted him to his girlfriend Black China, who's had a bad history with the family. Make sure to watch the season 12 premiere of Keeping Up with the Kardashians May 1st at 9 p.m. Only on E! For other stories, make sure to like our page and watch more Hollywood updates.